Hello, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new here, then hi. I'm glad you joined us. Today we're going to be talking about the Dogtra Ball Launcher Pro, if you couldn't tell by the title. Um, I've had this thing for close to a year, if not about a year now, and it has clearly been used and abused. I feel like I've used it enough now where I can kind of give a honest review about it, um, and kind of just my opinion on it and the pros and cons of it. So there's the Ball Launcher and there's the Ball Launcher Pro. This one retails for, I believe, like $399 or $400 and you get free shipping, which personally, I didn't buy this. This was given to me as a gift. I wouldn't spend that much money for something like this. I would probably get like one of those decoy launchers that, um, that dog trim makes and just stick like my ball or tug in it. But you know, it's, it served its purpose for what it, for what it's worth. There's also a ball trainer, which is $350. So it's a little bit cheaper. I personally think the ball trainer, while I haven't used it, seems more appealing than this one just for, um, various small reasons. But we're going to talk about the Ball Launcher Pro since this is what I got on me. Um, <laughs> so it's really easy to use. It's rechargeable batteries, so you just plug her in and it's supposed to be like a rapid charge, like two hours, bam, it's done. This thing holds a charge for a really long time, so I don't charge it all that often, so I can't really tell you. Like, I've never let it go dead, to my knowledge, and it doesn't take long to charge from what I noticed. But like I said, I don't charge it often because it really does hold a charge. The remote does have, um, I believe it's six no maybe less it has double a batteries in it so th these aren't rechargeable but in here it is rechargeable so there is the option for a launcher and a ball dropper you just slide this little bad boy you can hear that's the dropper and it comes with this fancy little remote um, it has eight buttons on it that's because you can control up to eight of these on one remote the the yellow one is the one that goes to this one so I have it on the dropper option you can see. drops the ball and then if you want to put it on the launcher, you just switch it over. I'm not going to because this guy's already getting a little worked up about it. You just push it in and you hit the button and it, and it pops up. I'm not going to do it, like I said, because this guy's going to probably take us out. So some of the things that I personally don't um, like about this is I don't like how high it launches a ball. This only launches up to two feet and the ball trainer goes up to five I'm not really sure why they made the distance not as high I'm assuming because like a lot of people use these for like detection and scent work I don't I'm completely green when it comes to that kind of stuff so I can't really talk to it like the ins and outs of, of using it but like I know they make boxes specifically for this that by Dogtra um, that you can purchase and put this in and you know do your detection scent work stuff and then mark it when they're on the right one and it just pops out of the box so I'm not sure if maybe like they adjusted the height for that but I personally want it to go higher because I use this mainly just for the long jump and I'll put in some video um. over it maybe he would actually like launch over it but that's just me I, I wish it jumped I wish it launched a little bit higher also the ball, ball dropper option I haven't used it but I know I could use it like say in the blinds it has this little strap that I could hang it up so like people can use it for like a bark and hold um, and then reward by dropping the ball or I could use it for just sending him to a blind just to you know do the muscle memory of running the pattern and then when he gets to that blind, rewarding him there. I haven't used it for that. I just use a like a leg sleeve and a, and a blind when I want to practice just running the pattern. Another thing I also don't like is it's got these like little knockoff star mark balls, but they're tiny. They're way too small. So this is what I normally use for a reward, this larger star mark. And this is comparison to the ball. So as soon as he gets rewarded I have him out it and come for this because I'm terrified that like he's gonna swallow this by accident and choke and there's no holes in this so I'd be shit out of luck with trying to dislodge this from his throat so I do wish it was a little bit bigger 
I know the ball trainer has a tennis ball shown on the website. And this, I mean, I don't know if this is about the size of a tennis ball. It might be a little bit smaller than a tennis ball. Again, I don't use tennis balls either. I use balls that are larger and I like to use them preferably on a rope. But, you know, for, for what it's worth, he jumps, he clears the jump, he gets rewarded and I like tell him done and he drops it and he comes for this right away. So it's fine, but I do wish that it could hold maybe a different size ball, not just these tiny ones that they make. And I'm not sure if like, you know, what other balls could fit in here, maybe a tennis ball, I'm not sure. But it did come with two of these, so that was really nice. It came with two of these, it came with the, the launcher, the remote, and it came with the charger, obviously. So I've had this, like I said, for at least a year now. I've never had to change the batteries in this, so they have also lasted quite a while. <clears throat> Another thing though is like, it, like I said, it's it's sturdy. It gets a, it has like a hundred yard range. I haven't tested that because I'm usually standing pretty close to him when I'm using this or standing close to this. So I haven't really tested the actual like distance if it works or not. But I do just wish that like it wasn't so much for one. Like I don't think this was worth four hundred dollars. Maybe maybe if you use it for like you know detection on the regular, like it would make sense to need something like this. Then yeah, to go, totally go for it. it's worth the price. But for me, I think. Doctor makes like decoy launchers, which are pretty cool. It's like these little. Would you stop back there? Enough. Freaking, it's cold again, and we're scratching and on ourselves. Anyway, <laughs> they make a decoy launcher that I could just like. It's like this little like. It looks like a little, like a little hassock thing where you just like can put the toy in or whatever, and it'll pop it up into the air. I think that would be much more useful. But like I said, this has served its purpose. It's 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 working well. It's rugged. It's sturdy. It's holding up for the test of time, it's good quality. Like it's just like one solid, pretty much base here, some screws and everything. But but yeah, do I think it's worth $400? No, for me personally, just because of how little I use it for exercise. Narco, you're in this first video and you're chewing the shit out of yourself. That's not cool. Anyway. Um, because I only use this really for when I'm doing the long jump, I, I guess I could use it maybe like for healing because I don't heal on me, I heal off of me, like I'll t throw the ball and do some healing around it. I guess I could use it for that too, but that's like just one more thing that I have to like keep in my hands, so I have to have my e-collar remote and I have this. Um, it's just not ideal for me when training, but like I said, I don't use it for the blinds. I could, I could use the ball dropper. I've never used the ball dropper in any of my training. And I probably, you know, I, I, I could, implement this with some things but I just don't have the need for it so I personally wouldn't have purchased this on my own like I said it was a gift and I appreciate it and for that like I'm grateful and will continue to use it because it's been working for my rewarding in the long jump but if you have this extra $400 lying around that you want to you know buy a sweet toy then <laughs> by all means but for for what it's worth and for what I use it for for me it's it's not worth the money, but I think because it's sturdy, I will show you some video. It's taken quite a beating from Narco trampling over it numerous times. Yes, good boy. Um, and it holds a charge really long, so like me, I forget to charge everything. But you know. That's me. Not everyone is as forgetful as me, but I forget to charge everything, so it's really good for holding a charge if you're like me and you let it sit in a bag in the room for half the winter and then you take it out again and it's still working. So that's useful. And like I said, I haven't had to change the batteries in this, so this must not use too much juice. I like that it's on a lanyard, even though I never use it, but yeah. Um, just my review of the Dogtra Ball Launcher I, Pro. Pro, I gotta say Pro because there's a ball launcher, or ball trainer, excuse me, um, for less money shoots higher, doesn't come with balls, not rechargeable, and it shows a tennis ball on here. So the extra 50 bucks gets you rechargeable batteries, two balls, and three feet less height when it's launching the ball. So preferably, I wish you could adjust it. I wish you could adjust how high it launches a ball. That would make more sense. If you wanna do two feet or if you wanna do five feet, that would be pretty cool, but maybe the next one, Dogtra. That would be really useful. I would like it more if this could shoot a little bit higher. So, but yeah, that's just my little review on the Dogtra Ball Trainer Pro. Um, I'll continue to use it and hopefully, you know, it'll last me 
a lotted long high because it is so expensive. But yeah, so dog tra tr ball trainer pro. I keep calling it a launcher, even though that's I guess that's not technically its correct name. So I don't want to confuse anyone. And <clears throat> it's up to you if you want to buy it. Let me know if you use it. Let me know if you like it. Tag me in some Instagram stuff if you do use it because I'd like to see people using it for purposes other than what I use it for. And maybe I could implement it into some of the things that we do together. That'd be pretty sweet. I'm always open to, to seeing new stuff and learning some new things. And yeah, I hope everyone is healthy. I hope no one's run out of toilet paper. <laughs> I hope no one's freaking out. And I hope everyone stays safe and enjoys the time being quarantined with their dog. Unfortunately, I still have to go to work, but such is life. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be going to Georgia in just a couple days for their perimeter working dog uh, trial. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty stoked that it hasn't been canceled, even though Atlanta's seems like it's a pretty hot spot for everything that's going on right now. But so far, so good. We are we are not canceled. One of the per perks of French Ring being so small is we don't get large crowds, so we don't have to cancel. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, whatever it is that you're doing. I hope you found this helpful. Give me a thumbs up, like, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Okay? Love you. Bye.